In this video, we're gonna create a Git local repository. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a directory on my desktop so it's easy to follow along. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'll just call it Git videos. And in this directory, I'm gonna have my repository. So let's see, I got git bash loaded up. I have a link in the description down below. If you need git bash, that's what I'm using here to do all my git commands and everything like that. All right, so first things first, I need to go ahead and navigate to my new directory. So let me see where I am now. So that's where I am now. Uh, let me go ahead and change directory, cd to des desktop. So now I'm in my desktop and I get cd over to git videos. Now, of course, I could have uh, changed directory and done like cd desktop git videos. That would have done the same thing as what I just did with the two different steps. Either way, you want to navigate within your git bash client console. You want to navigate to your folder that you're going to set up as your like git repository. All right, now that I'm in the folder that I want to convert into a git repository, I'm going to type in git init. Just like that, git init. Press enter and it's initialized the empty git repository in that location right there. And you'll notice that I now have master here. And that's how you know that you're in like git mode basically is you're gonna have uh, master written here. And if you create other branches, you're gonna have the name of the branch here. So right now I'm technically in the master branch, uh, but more on branches in a later video. Just know if you see master here, you're, you've done it correctly uh, because you're on working on the master branch. You also notice inside of your directory here, uh, it established a .git folder. Now you might not see it right away depending on your system's properties. So if you don't see anything, you come up to view and you wanna make sure that hidden items is checked. So you can view those hidden items because it's a, it's a hidden directory. But inside this git folder is essentially all of your, this is, this is your git repository. So this is where they're gonna keep track of all the changes you've made, all the commits you've made. It's going to have your file versions in here. So this is where like all the magic happens with Git in your local repository in this .git folder. Now, with that being said, do not touch anything in this folder. It is like a special folder for Git only stuff. Let Git do Git only stuff. Don't come in here changing things, editing things. You don't need to be in this folder at all. Just wanted to point out that it exists and um, it's where your repository is. All right, so as it turns out, there are a few things you could be doing inside of this Git folder, but they're more advanced. So if you're new and you're watching this video, it's probably beyond your scope right now. But just so you know, you can do stuff with hooks or you can view logs. So if that's something that's interesting to you, it is out there and you can go to the Google and see what's up. And that's really it for this video. We just went ahead and established our repository, our local repository. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.